Thank you everyone for joining. My name is Alexandra Gogonia, product marketing engineer responsible for sensors, and I'm based in ST Bay Area office. Today, we will talk about the sensor tile dot box and the function packs available, which allow to use this device in what we call professional mode. I will start with a quick introduction on MEMS and sensor landscape and how ST is addressing key market verticals as well as providing some high-level details on SensorTile.box. Then I will focus on SensorTile.box and professional mode of usage, referencing two software function packs that are available for this hardware platform. We will also show you a quick demo on how to use it as an asset tracking device based on the tools available. I will conclude with a few final remarks. Let's start by talking about the IoT trend, where familiar devices are evolving to become connected and smarter by leveraging the massive computing capability of the cloud. This is impacting every industry and even creating new ones. One of the key elements of this market trend is the need to acquire and understand data, and therefore sensors play a key role within IoT. With the expansion of IoT, the variety of sensors deployed in the field is facing significant growth, and ST is one of the key players. From a market segment perspective, we cover consumer, industrial, and automotive industries. And the goal is to offer devices where key parameters such as accuracy, noise density, size, and power consumption are the best in class. Here are some of the key sensor categories that ST can support. Motion sensors like accelerometers, gyroscope, six axis inertial measurement units, magnetometers, and e compasses. Environmental sensors like pressure, humidity, and temperature sensors. Acoustic sensors with our MEMS microphones and proximity sensors through our time of flight product portfolio. So if you're looking to develop an application using sensors, we have the right device for you. Our sensors address all three key market segments. Automotive, with products qualified according to AEC Q100 standard. Industrial, where we offer devices with extended temperature range and 10 years longevity commitment. And consumer, where technology with advanced embedded features offer devices with best-in-class accuracy and lower power consumption in the industry. This allows us to enable a wide range of companies to explore sensors across several different applications, each with specific requirements. Considered all these sensors, how are you going to evaluate them and create a rapid prototype? It would be great if we could just be able to collect data from sensors without writing any line of code, and maybe have some flexibility to create a proof of concept through minimal configuration settings, and then explore rapid prototyping and have access to full customization capabilities, as well as being able to rely on STM32 Cube and tools such as Algo Builder and the Unicleo graphical user interface. Well, we got you covered as this is exactly what SensorTile.box can do. So SensorTile.box is one of the main hardware platforms that can enable this design flow. A flexible plug-and-play IoT node that allows users to jumpstart applications by relying on a user-friendly mobile app interface called STBLE Sensor App, which is available on both Google Play and App Store. Now, Let's take a quick look inside the sensor tile dot box. Here is the board. On one side, some of the latest motion sensors from ST. Environmental sensors, analog wideband MEMS microphone, an STM32L4 Plus microcontroller, a ST Blue Energy based BLE module, and a micro USB connector. On the other side, a micro SD card, 500 milliamp hour battery and the ST-Link V3 connector. 
Now, let's take a deeper look at the main components on the sensor tile.box, featuring the latest motion and environmental sensors from ST. Starting with the motion sensors, LSM60SOX, six axis inertial measurement unit, best in class in terms of power consumption and featuring a high performance accelerometer and gyroscope combo. It also enables a new concept in smart features by embedding a programmable finite state machine and decision trees. The board also features two standalone accelerometers, the LIS3DHH, a high performance inclinometer based on a ceramic package, ideal for precise inclination measurement over temperature and time, and the LIS2DW12, an ultra low power accelerometer featuring less than 500 microamps in active mode. The platform also benefits from our standalone magnetometer, LIS2MDL, the perfect companion for the LSM60SOX moving towards a full 9-axis implementation. LIS2MDL offers a high dynamic range, increasing the robustness of the part. From the environmental sensor perspective, the sensor tile that box includes our latest high-performance pressure sensor, LPS22HH, offering high accuracy, low noise, and low power consumption. In addition to the pressure, measuring temperature is one of the most common sensor implementation in the industry. The STTS751 can bring high accuracy and low power consumption to IoT devices. We also included our small form factor and low power humidity and temperature sensor combo, the HTS221, featuring 3.5% relative humidity accuracy and 0.5 Celsius degree accuracy, Celsius degree accuracy. And finally, but not the least, the MP23ABS1, analog wideband MEMS microphone capable of capturing voice and noise generated in the environment. From a processing perspective, all the sensors are managed by an ultra-low power STM32L4 Plus microcontroller in conjunction with the Bluetooth Low Energy module based on Blue Energy system on chip. Additionally, as mentioned earlier, the sensor tile that box is battery powered and it features our STBC02 battery charger technology. I will now provide a quick overview on sensor tile that box operating modes. The entry mode is the out of the box experience of the sensor tile that box. There is no need for programming. You will just need to connect the board to the smartphone mobile app and select one of the pre-programmed functions available and are also listed here. Pedometer, human activity recognition, sensor fusion, compass and level, data recorder, vibration monitor, barometer, and two AI-based implementations, in-vehicle baby alarm and the baby crying detector. The next mode is the expert working mode that increases complexity and flexibility of the mobile app interface, still without writing a single line of code. In this case, the user benefits from the STBLE sensor app graphical user interface to create and customize new applications. It's possible to define additional applications by selecting the necessary building blocks and allocating the function that does make sense for each specific use case. Some examples are power optimization by selecting which sensors are activated or shut down, vibration analysis through fast Fourier transform, and even pattern recognition by benefiting from algorithms such as ST sensor fusion that can be enabled as needed. The last working mode of the sensor tile that box is the professional or pro mode. It's fully compatible with STM32 cube and you can find sensor tile that box among the starter kits in the configurator CubeMX, allowing the user to properly set up the hardware and the microcontroller peripherals as needed. The platform supports a dedicated function pack featuring a wide range of examples that benefit from the sensor tile.box hardware. In addition to these features, the Pro mode 
now also supports the Algo Builder and Unicleo graphical user interface. Additionally, this is the mode where the user can benefit from the embedded ST-Link V3 connector for programming and debugging. If you would like to explore more about the sensor tile.box and the three operating modes, go ahead and register for this on-demand webinar. Just follow the link on the bottom of this slide. During this presentation, we will be focusing on the Pro mode. Here are the main advantages of the professional working mode of the sensor tile.box. Compatibility with the STM32 cube, so you can program the STM32 microcontroller and benefit from a dedicated STM32 cube function packs. There are three function packs currently available. We'll cover in detail the FP SNS ST Box 1 and the FP ATR BLD 1. But let me provide you first a summary on the function pack FP AI Sensing 1. This function pack is dedicated to artificial intelligence. The package enables advanced applications such as human activity recognition or audio scene classification based on output generated by neural networks. The neural networks are implemented by a multi-network library generated by the XCube AI extension of the STM32 CubeMX tool. Pro mode also offers compatibility with PC-based tools such as the Algo Builder and Unicleo graphical user interface. The function pack SNS ST Box 1 is available online and I have captured here the snapshot of the web page. On the bottom of the slide, you have the full link for download. The function pack SNS ST Box 1 is an STM32 cube function pack for the pro mode of the sensor tile.box, which helps you build custom applications. The package benefits from the all key components on the sensor tile.box. Software examples are running on the STM32 microcontroller and it also includes all the drivers needed for the sensor tile.box evaluation kit. The function pack features a complete set of sample applications, like the one listed here. Easily send data via Bluetooth Low Energy. Visualize the sensor data with a Unicleo graphical user interface via PC serial terminal. Or use Ultra Low Power implementation based on RTOS for transmitting the data via Bluetooth Low Energy connectivity. Create a bootloader and an application for firmware over the air updates. Use the dual bank flash feature for rollback after a firmware over the air update. Or program the LSM6DSOX machine learning core or its finite state machine and control the output of its register and transmit the results via Bluetooth Low Energy. And also save the sensor data to the SD card. I will just present here the first two and let you discover the rest. As I mentioned, one example is to, is to send data from the board over Bluetooth Low Energy. I have used here the binary file available in the function pack and programmed it into the STM32 on the sensor tile.box. Here are the snapshots from the phone app showing environmental data, motion data, and the RSSI. The battery was disconnected as the device was powered over USB. Data log extended example, part of the function pack, can be used to stream data via USB or BLE to the Unicleo graphical user interface. A custom algorithm can be built using Algo Builder graphical user interface. I will provide here a brief overview on these tools that I have just referenced. The Algo Builder is an application for the graphical design and testing of algorithms. It relies on existing algorithms and libraries provided by ST and user defined data processing blocks. Unicleo GUI is a graphical user interface that allows the user to configure sensors, display sensors data like the plot over time, interrupt generation through a logic analyzer, and more, and also display 
of output data from algorithms creating using AlgoBuilder. Another function pack available for sensor tile.box in pro mode is the function pack ATR BLD1. Before we get into details, I want to frame better the use of such software example. The main goal is to address asset tracking applications. Asset tracking is referred to a very broad range of use cases, from monitoring shipping containers, parcels, luggage, food, medicine, tools and utensils, to livestock and pets. Basically, we refer to any method of tracking physical assets from most simple scanning barcode labels attached to the asset at various inspe inspection points to using tags with technologies like GPS, BLE, RFID, along with cellular and ultra-wide area network connectivity like LoRa and Sigfox. Outdoor real-time monitoring applications like containers, e-bikes or scooters or fleet management require the most investment in technology with real-time positioning and wide area band connectivity. Industrial logistics like pallets, luggage, smart parcels, and goods guarantee like the cold chain and medical shipment might require a lower cost solution and still a fairly smart sensor, in most cases reusable, while some applications like personal letters, packages, or parcels hardly can just justify a substantial cost for the service and would require a one-time disposable solution. Let's look here in more detail from the technologies point, which are the requirements for each type of asset tracking application. Our goal is to make all these applications smarter and to choose the optimal set of processing, sensors, connectivity, and power management for the task. Let's focus on the sensing technology. If a container was to carry perishable food items, then temperature and humidity monitoring are relevant. Motion sensors also can play a big role. Imagine a container with fragile objects. The smart tracker would need to sense if the container is not handled correctly or even drop down and be able to record the event. To do so, an approach is used to the embedded functionality of our accelerometers to automatically detect a free fall or a shock and alert the main processing unit, a microcontroller, and, and to record the event. Outdoor real-time monitoring would also require a position information with GNSS to complete what, when, where of any event. Another interesting sensing technique applicable to industrial logistics is the use of a barometer in conjunction with an accelerometer and dedicated algorithms. They can be used to identify taking off or landing if a cargo is on a plane. The functional blocks for an asset tracker are listed here on top. ST is uniquely positioned to offer for some solution all the components along with turnkey evaluation platforms. Using the ST evaluation board, it is an effective way to jumpstart your design for an asset tracker application. NFC, BLE and Subgiger solutions are available. And today we'll be focusing on BLE sensor node tracking device with multiple sensors implemented with the sensor tile.box that we discussed previously. The function pack developed with asset tracking application in mind is the FP ATRR BLD1. The software package can be downloaded from ST website and I have referenced the link on the bottom of this slide. The following folders are included in the software package. Documentation contains a compiled HTML file generated from the source code, which details the software components and the APIs. Drivers contain the HAL drivers and the board-specific drivers for each supported board or hardware platform. Middleware contains libraries and protocols for Blue Energy-2 Bluetooth Low Energy, the real-time operating system, and the file system. Projects contains one example application for creating a customized low power asset tracking application controlled by Bluetooth Low Energy for the sensor tile.box development kit. The application is available for IR embedded workbench, 
and STM32 CubeIDE MultiOS development tool. This software package offers a complete application example on how to create an asset tracking application and record events like tilt and orientation change or record excursion of temperature and humidity outside a certain range. All of this is configurable from the ST asset tracking application available for Android and for iOS is coming soon. This app supports the configuration of a cloud dashboard they will discuss in the next slide and also supports other connectivity options like Sigfox and NFC with the NFC sensor node. Having a sensor node connected to a smartphone app is a good demo, but we can really jumpstart a proof of concept of an asset tracking end-to-end -end application is the availability of a cloud dashboard component. ST has built and published DSH Asset Tracking, a sandbox application powered by AWS and free for our customer to use and experiment with connecting their sensor nodes. It's compatible with the sensor style that box via the ST Asset Tracking app. Say, for example, you bought some very nice bottle of wine from the Columbia Valley and the shipper equips them with a sensor tile that box. I have now a way to know what happened to the box at any given time. Was it left in the sun, kept upside down, exposed to excess humidity? All information that allows you, the receiver, to know if there is a possibility that the wine was spoiled in transit. And you have access to this information just looking at the dashboard data when you receive the package. But what's better than seeing the real demo? Now, I will hand it over to Manuel to show you the real stuff. Thanks, Alexandra. My name is Ernesto Manuel Cantone, Product Marketing Manager for MEMS and Sensors for Geo Accounts out of Portland, Oregon. In this demo, We'll show you how to use a sensor tile.box in professional mode as an asset tracker in an end-to-end -end example of a sensor to cloud application. For this demo, we'll need a sensor tile.box out of its usual enclosure this time as we're going to use the user button, an Android phone, I'm using a Pixel phone with Android 9, and a laptop with a browser, I'm going to use Chrome. The sensor tile.box is running the function pack FPATR BLE1 and is communicating via Bluetooth Low Energy to the ST Asset Tracking app on your Android device. The app will then funnel the sensor data to a cloud application powered by AWS, and the very same data is accessible via the dashboard asset tracking that you can find on www.st.com. In today's demo, we'll use Google Login to the dashboard, while in its final form, a MyST.com account will be required. On the dashboard, let's navigate on the top left menu and log in with your Google account. As you see, no devices are present. On the smartphone, here mirrored on the screen, let's open the ST Asset Tracking app and tap on the cloud icon to also log in. Nothing to see here also. Let's go back to the main menu and tap on the Bluetooth icon. Allow Bluetooth access to the app and let's press the user button on the sensor tile box to start advertising. You see now ATB underscore 100, that is the default name for the sensor tile running this function pack. We can now configure our tracker based on sensor tile box. Let's set the sensor reading to one minute. We can now add the features and triggers to the tracker. For example, temperature greater than 30 degrees Celsius. Humidity greater than 50%. Adding a wake up interrupt based on shock greater than 2G. And finally, a detection of a tilt event. Next, let's hit the save button and the sensor tile box will disconnect and start logging. Let's focus now on the sensor tile feed on the bottom right of the screen. Every time that an event is triggered, 
a blue light is blinking. For sake of time, let's speed up now and fast forward a couple of minutes in the future. Back on the application, let's tap on the Bluetooth icon and press the user button on the sensor titled box to connect it to the app. I will now move to the data tab and as you see, the collected data are now being transmitted to the app. The app will ask if we want to sync cloud data. Let's tap on OK. Ne Next, I need to give a unique name to my tracker, in this case ST underscore DevCon. The app is now communicating with the AWS cloud and creating a thing associated to the sensor titled box in my account and exchanging the security certificates to guarantee the uniqueness of my tracker. Once connected, the upload phase starts and the data now residing on the phone are being transferred to the cloud. There you go, uploaded, completed. And as you can see, we can visualize directly on the app both the sensor data and the alerts triggered by events. Let's go back now on the browser. I click on Devices and refresh the browser status. As you can see now, the thing stdevcon is available and the same data we've seen on the smartphone, now augmented with the location data from the phone, can be accessed from anywhere. Now for the last part of our demo, I left the sensor tile box collecting data for a couple of hours and I'm following the same procedure I lighted before, tapping on the Bluetooth button on the app, then pressing the user button on the sensor tile box and then navigating to the data tab once connected. Now a noticeable amount of data is being transferred from the sensor tile box to the app via Bluetooth Low Energy. And this can take some time due to bandwidth limitation as we see. Again, sync completed. And uh, notice all the historic data collected, what can be a snapshot of the status of your package during shipment. Let's upload to the cloud app for further analysis. Since we have already created the AWS thing, this time the app won't ask for the name, as the sensor titled box is recognized by its MAC address. Here's the data synchronized to the cloud now. Let's go back on the dashboard and this time let's click on telemetry. We can select the stdevcon sensor title box and the feature of interest with this time frame. In this case temperature for the last three hours. Let's click on the play button to fetch this data. Next let's select humidity again for the same three hours. Let's click then on the events and again select the stdevcon for the last three hours. We can observe here all the events triggered, wake up and tilt. In today's demo, we showed how to build an end-to-end -end asset tracking solution with the dashboard asset tracking and sensor tile dot box. The dashboard supports other RF connectivity options on top of BLE, Sigfox, LoRa, LTE, and NFC. We'd like here to alight that this dashboard is compatible with the Function Pack Sense Smart Tag 1, running on the Nucleo hardware or on the Form Factor ST NFC sensor. Thanks for your time today, and back to you, Alexandra. I hope you enjoyed the demo. You are now ready to order a sensor tile that box and start playing. Before we end this presentation, I want to quickly summarize a few key points. Today, you have been introduced to the sensor tile.box and the professional mode using 
software function packs along with the smartphone apps available and the asset tracking dashboard. For reference, all the main components inside the sensor tile.box are listed here. Sensor tile.box is an open source platform where all the relevant hardware documentation is available on st.com. Visit the sensor tile.box webpage to download the schematic, Gerbers, and bill of materials along with all the user manual and related software. Follow the link on the bottom of this slide for more details. For more information, you can also access the dedicated YouTube videos on the sensortile.box. These videos walk you through entry, expert, and professional modes in detail. On top of this contact for support, please refer to our online support center. Visit our longevity program webpage highlighting the industrial grade sensor product portfolio. We also have a dedicated repository for Android, Linux, and platform independent C drivers available for our MEM sensors. Don't forget to visit st.com slash sensors to get the latest updates. I will end this presentation with a couple of takeaways. The Internet of Things brings many opportunities to enable sensor to cloud connectivity. ST plays a key role in this marketplace by bringing the necessary building blocks in terms of products ranging from consumer, industrial, and automotive, and by providing development tools that jumpstart your understanding, evaluation, and development when targeting a new application. We are always fo focused on MEMS innovation, and we are constantly expanding our development ecosystem. Thank you for joining us today. We will now open the Q&A session.